Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is New Brighton, and we left off putting in this residential area, as well as the city park uh, two episodes ago. And today we're going to go ahead down over here, and we're going to add some trains. So if you're new to my channel, and you like my content, please subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment down below, let me know what you like to see, and I'll try to uh, add it in. Um, so let's get started. We have to delete this uh, rail, and then we also are going to delete just part of this road and just smooth out that. I don't think I'm going to level it off, I'm just going to smooth it out. So let's go get in and delete this. This is as far back as we can delete this because um that's just the way it is um so we can't level this or smooth we could smooth it out just a bit but we can't level it off to the ground because it just won't allow us so we'll do that when we open up that square uh next time but um or whenever we open up that tile but for now we'll just we'll just add a little bit of smoothness like that and then we're going to go ahead and delete the rest of this. We can pause the game because we're going to go right through there. And right through there. And we'll just fix those roads. Sometimes when I have a lot of money, it's just easier that way. So we'll just go into our six, six lanes. We'll just hold on a second. Let's bring that down properly. There we go. And over here, we're just going to delete that and that. Right to there. And I think that's okay. So let's go into our train tool. And we're just going to smooth this. I'm just going to turn up the intensity and the size. And just kind of level this off. So I'm not going to take a lot of time on this. Just quickly get this nice and smooth, like so. And I think that should be good. So we'll go back into our roads. We'll grab the highway, connect that all back up, and get on our way. We need to turn on the curve. There we go. Right about there. And right there. Alright, so that looks much better. Let's go into our train tracks. Uh, first things first, we're going to have to lay down uh, the train to open up the tracks. Now that we unlocked our tracks, we can just take this on a gentle curve. Nothing too crazy. And we know right in between those, uh, where the, we cut the electric off, is like goalposts. So we want to come right around that area there. Then we're going to come down with this one. And this we're going to go pretty straight. What did I do here? You know what? I deleted. I don't know why I did that. This has got to be straight because I'm actually going to not go over. There we go. I think we're going to go under here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the train track. Because that's what I meant to do. I already had it kind of planned out. Let's back it up just a little bit. We'll come about there. And then we'll just come to there. And we're going to keep going straight under. Until we get to a about there. Then we're going to bring this up and just curve it like that. And I'm just going to take this back just a little bit. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to come to there and do a nice little gentle curve. Nothing too crazy. It looks pretty okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, that looks okay. Just double checking, making sure everything is still lined up all right. And now we can go ahead and put in the electric because the game is running and everybody's complaining. All right, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and let's run some roads. Um, if we come down, let's see. Let's just grab, you know what, let's just grab the regular road. Um, we need two lane. I'm gonna come down one, two, three, four, five. I think we're gonna go right about here. And I just want to see where that's at. We'll just come a little bit straighter here. I'm just gonna come past there a second and past here a second. There we go. Alright, so let's just delete this rail. Right here. And I'm just going to see where I want to come. I think we're going to delete this as well. So now let's relocate this guy. There we go. And I want to stay kind of central here. So I'm thinking right there should be good. Let me just see how that is over here. Don't worry about those uh, not enough workers over there. We're just going to ignore that. That's what I usually do. And we'll just connect this up. And we'll connect this one up. You know what? We're going to take this back just a little bit. Because it's not lining up the way I want to. And now we'll just take this back down. And I'm sure you're wondering why I put the tracks in just to delete them. It kind of helps me to guide where I want to put everything. So that's it's kind of that's the only reason I put them in first is I like them for a guide. Um, next, we're going to come about right here. I'm just going to go straight. I'm going to use my straight. And then over here, I'm going to take this. Let's just see how straight we can make this. Um, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to use our straight and just come right there. So now I'm just going to check, make sure all the um, tracks are there. Because sometimes if you put them in, they will not show up, but they are there. And we're going to run some water to this right from here. Just like that. And now, again, you're going to say, why did you put it in? I'm actually deleting that and that one. And then I'm just going to take this road right to the edge here like that then I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna grab this guy go on straight and I thought it was on straight just bring it up to here and bring it in and do the same on the other side come right up and turn in so the reason I did that is because if you use the regular two lane and then the trees, you end up with a crosswalk right in front of the station. And you could do it as small or as large as you want. Sometimes I go right up to the edge of the uh, parking lot. Sometimes I come in a little bit. As you see, I kind of came in a little bit. I like it a little bit better that way. Although sometimes uh, I do like it right up to the edge of the parkway. So, I mean the parking lot. So, for now we'll just leave that like that. And I think... Do I want to use... I think I might use um, a wind, wind turbine for the power. And let's put it on 3 speed. And just make sure everything runs. There we go. Alright, so everything seems to be hooked up there. We have not done any decorating or anything right now. 
let's go back over to here and put in our cargo. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and use the four lane um, one here. Now the other one is five. I believe this one is seven. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe that is correct. I could possibly be wrong. Uh, that would not be the first time. Go to the cargo train. And yep, that looks about right. So let's go ahead in. We're just going to delete that. And again, I'm deleting stuff I put in, but it's necessary for me. I need the visual to actually get everything the way I want it. And we're going to go there, and I am off by a little bit. So we are actually going to move this. I'm going to put this right over here. And then I'm going to just delete part of this. Because I want to use it as a reference. So if I know I'm here, I need to come here. So we're going to delete this. And put this in here like so. And then we're going to go pick it up and relocate it. Now that should be perfect. It is. Now some people run their trains just like this. Some people don't. They actually um, do the bypass uh, right for the train station. So they actually have to pull into the station. Um, I do it both ways. Um, it depends. This one just seems to work out quite well this way. So I don't mind that. And do the uh, bypass if they want to come through. And I don't like the way that looks. So we're just going to do that. And we'll come from here. And then run that straight. And that looks much better. Alright, so we need to get some water to this guy. Let's go from here. And we have to go all the way across the street for that. Because I'm going to keep this running straight through. Right in here. Just like that. And I think I'm going to run the next one as well. Just to keep it lined up yep that works well and we can grab the electric right from there perfect and that should be it we just have to run our road to finish it off now I'm thinking because it's cargo I think we're gonna just run this like this just to keep the traffic, this will not come in at the 90 degree that I want. So I'm just going to take it back down one more and that will snap in. And then over here, I'm just going to run that down three. But I actually am not going the 90 because it will bring it out. I don't want that. I want it right about here. And then I'm going to bring it right about there. And then I'm going to change the direction on this. And bring it up. And in. So I think that will work out well. We're just going to check out any lights we have. And I think we're going to just quickly turn off any of these lights that we have going on in our city. I think there is a few. We're going to come back over to here. And yes, there is quite a few lights on. And that will cause some traffic. 
especially with the uh, console uh, PS4 we don't have mods we can't get the traffic manager or anything like that so um, we have no access to like run the routes the right way or just you know make the cars turn the way they should um, so they kind of will stay in you know like in roundabouts they'll stay to the outer edge most of the time and when there's a traffic jam they never use the inside track so it's really annoying sometimes but we don't have access to that so if you can get your traffic managed as best as you can by um, you know using one ways and st and turning off lights uh, lights definitely uh, cause a lot of issues on the PS4 uh, I know from experience I've had traffic that was sometimes like dip down to 70s and stuff and just by turning off tra traffic lights no problem so yeah so I think we're gonna leave this episode off here I do want to decorate a little bit around these train stations I may do that in the next episode and uh, look at this it's getting used good so um, yeah if you like my content and would like to see more please click the like button and subscribe thanks bye